a short video that was shot undercover and it shows one syringe being used on several patients. And one of them, alarmingly, is a young adult with HIV and syphilis. And the syringe comes out of this adult, goes back on the tray and then is picked up within seconds to be put into a one-year-old infant. What happened to baby X after this? No one knows. Baby X received one of the 20 million injections in Africa each year with syringes infected with HIV. Seven billion unsafe injections are given each year in the developing world. One in five adults in Egypt contracts hepatitis C from unsafe medical injections. At the age of 23, Beach bum turned inventor Mark Koska learned that more than a million people die or fall ill yearly through the reuse of dirty needles. He made a decision that would change the world forever. Do you have children? Clean syringe, dirty syringe. Which one do you want? Koska invented the K1 syringe, the world's first auto disable syringe. This is an auto disable syringe. There's a small modification to the plunger and the barrel and it allows you to use it in exactly the same way. Do all the different processes that are needed during an injection. Inject. And then throw away. And if someone wants to reuse this and refill it, what they would do is pull back on the plunger. It breaks which would lock and break inside the barrel. It's been credited with preventing 10 million fatal infections globally and reducing the average stay for inpatients from seven days to three in Tanzania. At a cost of 4.5 US cents, the K1 syringe is cheaper than a reusable syringe. But it's taken 25 long years for the World Health Organization to make single-use syringes obligatory. In the next two years, we'll usher the world in a new era of safe, single-use syringes and needles for all injections. The WHO mandate will be announced in Geneva on October the 30th. By 2017, all health systems around the world will have to switch to the new syringe. Shanae Hale, Johannesburg.